what's the deal with intermittent fasting? You might wonder about that. It's something that you hear a lot about with weight loss. And so let's look at intermittent fasting versus eating small frequent meals during the day, which is another thing you hear quite often. And both can be an effective strategy for you, depending on what your lifestyle is like and how your body works. So one of the reasons why we can recommend to eat small frequent meals during the day is that it can be helpful to never be starving and never be stuffed. So that metabolically speaking, when you're giving your body a handful of calories and then you burn them off and then you give your body a little more calories and then they burn it off, so you're never eating a huge amount of calories at one time. And that can also keep your blood sugar level more stable throughout the day and can help you avoid binging because you're never starving and you're spreading your calories throughout the day. And when you do that, one of the important things though is still not to really eat too close to bedtime because you don't wanna have a whole lot of calories right when your body's about to be least active. So it's a good idea to front load your calories a little bit more during the day. And that I like to brush my teeth after dinner and say kitchen is closed and that's kind of my signal. So my small frequent meals still end by about 7 p.m. at the latest. So what's intermittent fasting? So intermittent fasting is a strategy that some people use to, to uh, be part of the weight loss strategy where they are only eating during, let's say, eight hours of the day. And they're in a fasting state the other 16 hours of the day. So that might not be a whole lot different than eating small frequent meals, except for you're doing it within eight hours instead of within perhaps um, you know, 10 or 12 hours. When I get up in the morning, I get up around 5.30 or 6, and the first thing I usually do is work out. And I love working out first thing in the morning before I've eaten anything because working out in a fasted state can be really good for burning fat, number one. And if you're doing it early in the morning enough, you're not going to feel hungry yet. Your body's not really going to be ready for food yet. And if I were to wait till later in the day, I would get hungry and then I, my stomach would be too full and I wouldn't feel like exercising because I don't want all that food jumping around. So that's why exercising in a fasted state can feel really comfortable. And if I wanted to try intermittent fasting, what I might do is just wait until about 10 a.m. before I have breakfast. And that way I'm eating between, let's say, 10 and 6 or 10.30 and 6.30, you know, 11 to 7, that I'm still eating small frequent meals, but I'm just kind of pushing off breakfast just a bit, giving my body a little bit longer in that fasted state until I start eating. And then I'm still going to stop eating by 6 or 7 p.m. because I just think that I know my body feels better that way. And the less we eat, eat really close to bedtime, usually the better we feel. So it depends, does depend on what time you go to bed, because I go to bed by 9.30 or 10 because I'm up at 5 or 5.30 in the morning. If you're staying up till 11 or 12, it's probably not going to work for you to not eat past 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock, because you have a lot of waking hours and you're going to start feeling hungry and wanting to snack. And if you have something healthy to snack on, that can be okay if it works into your total calorie plan. But you also might want to think about just going to bed because getting enough sleep is really important and can be valuable for your overall wellness. And sometimes getting up early can be really helpful too. Depending on if you're a nighttime person or a daytime person, just look at what fits for you and think about the timing of your meals and not just the quantity.